Hey hey, let's create a broken mirror effect in Photoshop. It's not too complicated actually. Just a simple technique, duplicate subject many times and masking it to create this effect. Now just jump right into it. First, create a new layer by clicking to the small page icon at the lower right corner. Pick a brush tool, B shortcut. Select the tiny down arrow icon to drop down the window. Choose the wheel icon on the right side and select import brushes. Here I already have broken glass brush. Feel free to download this stock and brush for practicing. Choose the brush and load it. Open the broken glass brush folder that we just imported. Choose the brush that you like or the second one just like me. Use bracket to increase or decrease the brush size. Increase the brush to the point that you see fit. Make sure to use the foreground color is white. Both opacity and flow are 100%. Zoom out a bit to have more space of view. Increase the side brush even more. When you think it's enough, dab right in the center. There you go. It's just like the broken screen already. Use eraser tool to remove some of the areas of glass that you don't want. Once you're done, move back to background layer. Press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Now we will multiply this subject to many pieces of broken glass to create the effect. To do that, use polygon or lasso tool to take the selection of piece of broken glass then. Click to layer mask to add a selection to adjust the photo inside. Click to the change icon between layer and layer mask to unlink the connection between them. You can move the layer with move tool or ctrl T to expand or scale down. The first piece is done. Let's move to another one. Duplicate the background layer with Ctrl or Command J. Use polygonal lasso tool to take the selection. For using this tool, just simply click, click, and click to cover the selection. and double click when you're finished. Click layer mask, unlink and adjust the layer. It's simple right? Just keep repeat these steps until you see it's enough for this effect. I'll speed up the process a little bit so it won't consume your time. When you are done, here I have the texture to make the effect look realistic even more. Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy it. Paste the texture to our project with Ctrl V. Use Ctrl T to expand the texture to fill all the document. To expand the size evenly from the center, you have to hold Shift and Alt while dragging the corner out. Change blend mode to screen and decrease the opacity into nearly half. It's quite bright. Let's darken the image a bit. Open the blending option by clicking to effect icon and choose blending option. In this layer, hold Alt, click to the black triangle and drag half of it to the right. Stop right where you feel it's OK. Reduce the opacity of layer 2 to 38%. Create a gradient adjustment layer. Select gradient review to open gradient editor. Choose foreground to transparent preset. Change white color on the left side to black and OK. In gradient fill window, change linear in style to radial. Make sure to check on reverse. Scale around 166%.
reduce the opacity to 85% for this gradient layer. After that, add some contrast to this image with curve adjustment layer. There you go. Enjoy! Hope that you like this tutorial. If you like, subscribe button to get more and more tips of Photoshop every day. Thank you and bye bye!